All right, wealth. Annual racial wealth is the summary of the uh, total wealth produced by your race every year. At the moment, we only have Earth producing wealth, so that's what we're getting. This is the racial per capita income. This is improved by this wealth generation per million TN workers tech. So this is the base income per million people. Um, only people employed in state buildings will actually generate wealth. So we have 48, 9, 50, 50 and, a, 50 and change million people. So uh, we're generating, so that's, so only these guys here are actually generating taxes. So our scientists, our industrial workers, ground force guys, shipyards, maintenance workers, all these guys, they are responsible for our annual worker taxes. Um, so this is the racial and this is the population modified by any factors. So planetary governors can have wealth creation, sector governors can have wealth creation, and then um, if you have unrest, that can drop the taxes. So this is for the colony itself. This is the base racial. This is the total racial wealth generated um, by your empire. And this is the breakdown for income and expenses. Um, obviously, there's nothing here yet, but once we get a couple of production cycle and we get some actual income and expenses, we'll see that there. Uh, you can toggle between one month, three month, six month, and annual. So this gives you the last year, the last six months, the last three months, and the last month of income and expenses. Um, wealth is only important once you run out. If you have one wealth, or if you have a trillion wealth, well, a trillion is probably going to cause overflows, but whether you have one wealth or a trillion wealth, there's no difference whatsoever. It's when you get to minus one wealth that you start getting problems. As your racial wealth gets into negative, you start getting... Um, economic productivity production modifier um, dropping below 100%. So the lower your wealth gets into negative, the bigger of an impact you're going to see on your economy. Two things to keep in mind with this. Number one, as your productivity drops, your wealth consumption goes down, right? So your industry industrial capacity decreases your wealth consumption increases as your as your industry increases so by de by losing a construction capacity your consumption of your wealth decreases your shipyard consumption of your wealth decreases your mining consumption well mining doesn't consume wealth but all the stuff that actually consumes wealth starts slowing down so eventually you're going to reach some kind of equilibrium between your wealth consumption and your wealth production because your taxes remain the same because you have the same amount of employed workers but your industry slows down so you're going to reach some kind of equilibrium at some negative value if you change nothing all right um the other thing to keep in mind, uh, the, the only exception to that are ground troops. Ground, troop, ground troops are unaffected by these modifiers and ground troops have a wealth maintenance cost. So if you have a, a giant ground army, you might run into a situation where you never reach that equilibrium. That equilibrium could be infinite. So keep that in mind. Your armies are unaffected and will not contribute to the equilibrium. Um, you can get yourself down to a 1% economic modifier if you have a giant army that you cannot support. Um, but apart from armies, getting down to 1%, which is the absolute bottom you can do, you can't reach one, you can't reach zero. Getting down to a 1% economic production modifier is basically impossible without armies. Um, I know, I tested it, the equilibrium tends to sit somewhere between like 60 and 80 percent uh it's really 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 difficult because 
everything that consumes wealth also employs people that pay your taxes. So, you know, to consume more wealth, you also have to generate more wealth and get a stronger economy. Um, the other thing to the other thing to keep in mind is that the impact of negative racial wealth on your economic modifier is tempered by the pro the wealth production of the colony. So, a colony that makes a hundred wealth a year is going to be much more impacted by a negative wealth of minus fifty than a colony that produces a ten thousand wealth per year. Right. A colony that only produces 100 wealth might lose like 50% of its production if we get to like minus 50 wealth. That number is wrong, but just as, as an example. Whereas a colony that produces 10,000 wealth might lose like 0.1% if your wealth goes into minus 50, right? So the, strong, the more wealth your colony generates, the less of an impact on the modifier that a, set, a, a certain level of racial wealth uh, being negative has so you want very economically strong colonies if your racial wealth goes negative so that your equilibrium of your modifier is hi as high as possible so we'll talk more about wealth and trade goods once we get further into the game